put our tape in here. This is where we will start. We'll gently lift up just this one weft. We'll take out our scissors. It's very important that you have the serrated edge on the bottom. You'll place your scissors as close to the wig cap as possible. Be very careful not to cut the cap. Put against cap. Lift, close all the way, and then lift again. And you've removed some of the density. So we started with this weft, we skipped this one. So we're alternating. Now we are at this weft. You'll also see that there's permatease in here. You'll also want to click that, okay? So get very, very close to the base material. Open, cut, open, remove. All right, so we've done this side. We've done this weft. We're skipping this one. And we're going to go to this one. Making sure, again, our serrated edge is on the bottom. Get as close to the base material as possible. Get that permatease. Clip, open, remove. Now that you've removed density from your first row, this is a good time to step back and take a look at your work. If you think that you have not removed enough, make sure that you wanna take some more off because once it's gone, it's gone. I would really recommend that if you're not sure, take it off of the block head, try it on, see how it looks. If you think that you still need to remove more density, then here's how we move to the next step. So we have already taken care of this row here. Because we want to evenly distribute the density, we will skip this row that we just did and we're going to skip the row underneath it. We are working in almost a brick laying pattern or a checkerboard pattern. So this is one we did. This is one we're going to skip. This is the one we want to get to right here. If you happen to notice that you've got a lot of static in your synthetic wig, a great way to keep from cutting those extra hairs accidentally, give it a quick spritz with water and separate those hairs. Now, since we are on the next row, we are skipping the middle and working each one on each side. And there we have it, how to remove excess density from a wefted wig. Now this isn't for everyone. If you're like me and you get very uncomfortable about cutting a wig, there are wig professionals out there that can actually do this for you. A lot of them do work online virtually and all you gotta do is just send it to them. So if you don't feel comfortable doing it yourself, seek out a professional to help you with removing that excess density. Thank you very much for watching everyone and have a great day.